Hello everybody, in this video I want to talk with you about when it's a good idea to start a new eBay store, additional eBay store, what are the reasons to start, to start another eBay store, what are the, the benefits of this and how to do it right, on what is the best timing for this. Joe, this video is for you, Joe asked this on our group, on our WhatsApp group of AutoDS English group, so this answer is for you. Anybody else that want to ask any question, just ask me here under this video in the comments and I, am, and I promise to answer any question in a video or in the comments. So, first of all, what are the main three reasons to open another eBay account? The first reason is risks. If you're, this reason is relevant only for stealth accounts. So, if you are opening another eBay account, you have uh, you split your risks because if one of your eBay accounts will be blocked on eBay or will be suspended for any amount of time, you still have your other account so you can work and spend time on your other account and make your money from this account. So this is the main reason uh, to create another eBay account if it's a stealth account. The other reason to create an additional eBay store as a stealth account is because you can duplicate your successful products. If one product works well for you, you can just copy the same product and this way you can just take the full page on eBay of the search results for the same pro product if you have more than one eBay store. The third reason is that this way you can very very easy to get much higher limits because if I create one store and I'm calling eBay and I tell them that hey listen, this store is my additional store to this store just because I want to create another store for a specific niche of X, Y, Z, it doesn't matter, you can just say that you on this store you will sell uh, like home goods or drones or uh, garden things, it doesn't matter. You're just telling to eBay, hey listen, I want to create another store for another niche and then it will just copy your limits from one store to other. Sometimes they will not copy, it depends on your seller level, but they will just increase your limits, which is amazing for you. If it's a stealth account, so you will just get more limits because it's another account with more limits. In most of the cases, this is an account which you bought from someone else, and this way you just uh, have much uh, more limits. Now, when it's the good time and the best time to create uh, another eBay store? So first of all, you need to understand if you're already in control over your first store. It means that you have templates for your messages. It means that you have VAs, virtual assistants, which work for your store. It means that maybe you don't have these two things, but maybe you have enough time to create another store. So we need to uh, take in conclusion all of these things, time, virtual assistants, which are already know how to work right. This way you can scale very easy and you can just create more and more eBay stores. The next thing is, as I said, uh, uh, time, virtual assistants and templates for messages. So if all of your system works right, also you can just use AutoDS to automate many things like price adaptation, uh, bad products removal, or just set the templates in AutoDS, the templates of your messages in AutoDS. I will also create another video about messages templates and I will give you for free 40 uh, templates. So stay updated on this YouTube channel. So after you know that all of these parameters are fine for you, you have time, you can manage another store, this is the right time to create another eBay store. Actually, I really recommend you to create the other eBay store as soon as possible. It means that as soon as possible that you have all of these params ready, just open another store and another store. We already have clients in AutoDS with over 100 stores because this is really the way to succeed on eBay dropshipping. How I calculate this usually is that every store should uh, make you another, uh, around $1,000 profit per month with around 10,000 listings. And this way you can just duplicate more and more stores. So when you have 10 stores with 10,000 listings, the calculation says that it should be around $10,000 profit, which is actually the goal in dropshipping on eBay. I think that this is the best amount to get. So I hope that you like uh, this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel here under the video. Also, don't forget to ask anything that you, that you have here in the comments so I can answer you and I can help you with any other topic. See you on the next videos. Bye-bye.